guys, so today I decided I would finally do my very highly requested video on how I get my messy, beachy, texturized hair for my short hair. This is my favorite way to wear my, wear my hair. I actually don't really like my hair straight that much. I would prefer to wear it like this every single day if I could. So it's super easy, you need very minimal products and just a straightener. Um, it takes literally like 10 to 15 minutes to do. It's super simple, you don't have to be all precise with it or anything like that. So yeah, if you guys wanna know how to get my everyday go-to hairstyle, just keep on watching. All right guys, so this is about three day old hair already. Um, I haven't washed my hair in about three days. So first thing I'm going to do is take some dry shampoo. I really like the Batiste, um, this one is the original but I really like the tropical one as well. So I like to use dry shampoo because it gets rid of all the excess oils in my hair and I also find that it helps give my hair nice volume. So I usually part my hair to the side. I'm just gonna do that quickly. So I usually line it up with my eyebrow, like the arch of my eyebrow, and just part it from there. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of my dry shampoo and start spraying it. So I have done this hairstyle with fresh washed hair as well and it works nicely. I just find that when it's a couple day old hair it's a lot more voluminous and it tends to hold the curls a lot better. So just spraying my hair with a dry shampoo. And I'm running out so I need a new one. So I'm just gonna let this sit for a couple minutes and then I will be right back. Okay, so the dry shampoo has been sitting in my hair for about five minutes, which is normally what, um, it's a little bit longer than what I no would normally do. I just have to fax off some documents so it's been sitting there in, in my hair for quite some time. So I'm just gonna take a brush and just brush through that because it is not cute when there is little patches of white sitting in your hair. And just to get some knots out of my hair as well too because that'll help my hair to curl a lot easier. Okay, so we're gonna start curling our hair. I am going to be using a flat iron. This is the GHD Classic Styler. I've had this for like four years and it has never let me down. I love this thing. Uh, what I do like about it is it also shuts off by itself. So after a certain amount of time, it will shut off. So you don't got wor gotta worry about burning your house down, which is great. So I'm just gonna take a clip and just section off my hair. So the first layer I do is usually right above my ears and then I just section it off. So I'm going to take my uh, straightener. You can do this with a wand if you want, but I find that the straightener makes them a little bit more loose. So um, all I'm going to do is take a section of hair. Now I'm going to alternate between kind of bigger sections of hair, smaller sections of hair, um, just because I find that it gives it more texture. So I'm just going to grab a piece of hair. The first one on the bottom, I always curl it outwards. So I usually start around the middle of the shaft of the hair and I just turn it outward and then drag it down so we get a nice little curl like that. Now the next section I'm going to take a little bit smaller. This time I'm going to turn it inward. So all throughout my head I am going to alternate between outward and inward curls because again it makes it look more beachy and textured and then the curls don't clump all together. So that is just what I'm going to do throughout my whole head. And sometimes I will clamp it a little bit closer to the root just to give it more volume. And then sometimes I'll leave the ends out a little bit more just to give it that kind of straight end look. Sometimes I'll do like two curls in the same direction in a row just to switch things up a little bit. Now we're just going to grab the clip and undo it. So the next bit of hair, I kind of start, I guess, along my temples and same thing, just section it off. We're just 
gonna do the exact same thing, but we're gonna start curling inwards on this layer instead of outwards. Oops. I love this hairstyle because it's so quick and easy. Like it usually only takes me about 15 minutes to do, if not less, depending how precise I want to be. And it's just super easy. I love the way that it looks with my short hair. It gives me lots of volume. I'm really not precise at all when I grab pieces of hair. I literally just grab whatever and just curl it. Okay, so we're gonna release these layers down. Now, this side we're not gonna pin up because this is all going to get curled all together. But this part, since it's a lot thicker, I'm just going to section off kind of the top part here. Otherwise it's just too much hair and then it kind of looks funky. So just pin that one out of the way. Now on this side, I guess for both sides, um, I always want to curl outwards just because I don't like when curls are curled inwards towards my face. I want them curled outwards. So it's going to take a little bit. The first one I usually do a little bit higher because I want lots of volume. And for the first couple ones, I curl them all outwards. So about three of them, the first three curls, I'll curl them outward and then I'll start kind of switching it up. So I'm going to do this one inward and then just start alternating again. For this side, same thing. I'm going to start going outwards, but since this isn't the top layer, I'm still going to alternate these ones instead of doing like three outwards one in a row. We'll do that on the very top layer. Okay, so now for the last layer, it's going to spread it out and then same thing like we did on this side, we're going to do the first couple curls all outward. And again, I like to kind of start them closer to my root just because I find that it gives it more volume. Okay, so once I'm done curling it, I'm just gonna let it sit for a few minutes and then we're gonna kind of tussle it around, make it look nice and messy. So I'm gonna be back in a couple minutes. All right, so my hair's been cooling for about a minute. I don't let it cool too long, um, but basically I'm just gonna start running my fingers through it and that just kind of loosens up the waves and if they're bunched together, it kind of separates them. So just run your fingers through it. So it's gonna take a comb and just kind of back comb it a little bit. I don't do this all the time, it kind of just depends how I'm feeling. I'm just gonna add a little bit of back combing to it. I find that this just gives it volume. I have very like thick, heavy hair, so I need all the help that I can get when it comes to volume because my hair can tend to look very flat, especially throughout the day. Now we're going to add a little bit of volume along the roots. I don't like going crazy with back combing, but I do like to do a little bit. So I'm going to take a dry texture spray. This is the Moroccan oil one. 
so I'm just going to put a little bit along my roots here and then I just take that same comb and just back comb it a little bit and just kind of run my fingers through it and that just kind of gives it a little bit of lift without looking all crazy and put together Sometimes I just like to spray it and then just run my fingers through it, but I feel like I need a little bit more help today with the volume. So now we're gonna take that dry texture spray once again, and now we're just gonna go throughout the hair. So I usually start by lifting it up because we do wanna get the underneath of the hair. So I just kinda do light sprays. You don't wanna do too much because then it can make the hair feel really gritty and gross. And I can't really see what I'm doing here, but I'm basically just lifting up my hair and spraying it. And then same thing on this side, just lift up the hair. And then I just kind of like to run my fingers through it once again. Now, if it was up to me, I would not use hairspray at all. I hate the feeling of hairspray on my hair, but since I have such heavy hair, I need something to hold it up and keep that volume. So I'm going to be taking the Kenra Finishing Spray. This is a maximum hold one. This one's not too bad. It doesn't make your hair feel super crunchy. So I'm just going to spray very small amounts throughout my hair. And then I just kind of scrunch it especially on the front bangs, so I want that to stay. So just light sprays and then scrunching it at the same time. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of an oil. This is the Marrakesh oil looks like this. I just put a really small amount in my hand. I feel that it kind of helps get rid of that kind of crunchy texture in my hair. Usually I just apply it kind of to the ends. Alright guys, so that is it for this video on how I style my short hair and make it nice and beachy and wavy and texturized. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Lots of people have been asking me on my Instagram and on YouTube here how to do it. So I thought I would finally do a tutorial on it. So if you liked it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It'll really help me out. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and leave me any comments or suggestions down below on what you would like to see next. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Thank you.